very good morning to you. Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. It's all about matters concerning business and entrepreneurship on this fine Tuesday morning. My name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you. Welcome back. If at all you're just joining us, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And of course, it's all about matters concerning uh, entrepreneurship. Today, we want to talk about social capital in building innovation and resilience. And of course, that terminology looks like so, so much, like it's, it's a mouthful. So yeah, we're talking about, let me rephrase that, because in our social, to say social capital, let's say networking. Now, how best can you use uh, your networks to build your uh, to, 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 to build innovation and resilience? Is it possible? Is it achievable? Let today let's talk about this. And of course, to help us in this conversation, I am with Samuel Oma, who is an entrepreneur. Can you Samuel? Thank you so much. Niko Salama. Niko Salama Kabisa. Mm -hmm. It's nice having me again. It's nice having you again. Yeah. Uh, and and, and, and uh, welcome back. Thank yeah. you so much for always finding time to, to come. I appreciate it. To empower the youth. Yeah. <laughs> the future is the youth. Yes. Yeah, because the next revolution, the fourth mm. revolution, is in Africa. But our youth. Are our youth ready? But they are saying that the future is now. The future is now? Uh, yeah, it's now. Yes. But also, we must actu actualize it for better things in the future. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And of course, um, even as we talk about this particular issue from home, keep talking to us. Let us know what you think about this issue. Give us your thoughts and opinions. I talk about social capital in building innovation and uh, resilience in this morning conversation today. And uh, we remember we are streaming live through our website and that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. That's where we are streaming live so you can watch us on the go from wherever you are. This is Why in the Morning. The hashtag is Why in the Morning at Ramaguko, the official session handle at Y254 channel. Let us know where you're watching us from. And of course, let, let, uh, tell us what you think about this subject matter. Sam. Yes. We are using a big word. Big, big word. <laughs> <laughs> but I can make it uh, quite we, we can make it simpler. Yeah, quite because don't screen social capital in building innovation yeah. and resilience. resilience. And someone is wondering, what the heck are these people talking about? What is social capital? Uh, social capital is just uh, the networks uh -huh. and also uh, the connections between people to make a society better. Ah. Yeah, in, uh, in, in a simple way. Your networks. Yeah, your networks. Uh, you they usually the say your network uh -huh. is your net worth. Yeah, and that's yeah. the fact. Uh -huh. yeah. You can use that to build yourself. To build yourself. Huh? It's not being yeah. selfish. It's not being a gold digger. I'm not a gold digger because, <laughs> number one, uh, uh -huh. uh, let me say, you know, uh, we have different uh, aptitudes, uh, different skills. Yeah. Uh, people are enrolled differently. And maybe you have something that someone else doesn't have. Uh, yeah. You have resources, have ideas, have skills, and have, and you must combine these things together to realize our goal. Like uh -huh. where, where, where you are here, you are a presenter, you have cameraman, you have a, a, a society of people that... Uh, makes the systems to work. So that's social capital. Which we need to take advantage of. Do you think youths take advantage of no, no, their no, social no. capital? The, we, we don't take advantage. Because of a number of issues. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Maybe uh, because of our... Uh, uh, we don't have uh, skills uh, mm. that uh, helps us to uh, embrace the, these social capitals. Mm. We don't uh, invest in building these social capitals. We don't invest in mentors that can help us to uh, build our social capital to realize what mm. should be done. W w when you say we don't have skills, mm -hmm. um, what exactly are you referring to? Because somebody has just come from school, yeah, from, from the school, university, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. and is now seeking uh, yeah. employment. Yeah, n nice, thank you. Uh -huh. mm. So when you say skill, uh -huh. um, this uh, and and they go, they apply for that job, yeah, and, and they're uh, told. Five years experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> five years experience. Huh? How can they get this skill? Number two, mm -hmm. even in connection with that, uh, yeah, yeah. for somebody who, because that is somebody who has just come from university, yeah, yeah. for somebody who has stayed yeah. for some time yeah. after university, yeah. yes, they have gone for an attachment or an yeah. internship peer there. Yeah. You know, do they still also lack those skills? Yeah, that's a nice question. Huh? Let me uh, give you a context. Uh, you yeah. know, our youth are hypnotized by issues that don't add value to them. Uh, uh, they don't invest in skill additions, in value addition skills that mm. help them to 
uh, upstage what they have. You find someone as uh -huh. uh, is out of school, yeah. and you know in in our, in our uh, education context, uh, we we are not pragmatic. Uh, most of uh, we don't have uh, uh, hands on deck uh, issues that uh, embolden us for the for the future. So you find mm, after mm, school, uh, mm. our youth uh, must invest in. Uh, Practical skills, huh? yeah, uh, like you find in the modern world to today, yeah, computer is a big issue. Huh? It's a big issue yeah, whether you yeah. learn it in school and or not. Technology is growing. Technology is growing. Yeah. Huh? Number two, we have uh, like uh, the world today. Yeah, uh, you find that uh, the government uh, has not offered real-time uh, uh, employment for our youth. Huh? Mm -hmm. We need entrepreneurs that can come in to fill the gap, and uh, and, and 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 only entrepreneurs that will offer. Uh, much, uh, much employment opportunities that will win the game. So, 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 so here, here you're saying that uh, even after you finish school, yeah, yeah. try and build your skills. Build your skills. Yeah. You, and how, how can you do that? Do you go back to school where you can have some technical training, yeah, yeah, technical. Uh, or, or, or is it a job? Because at the end of the day, they're yeah, looking nice. for jobs yeah, to build yeah. the skills. Yeah, nice. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, there are a number of ways you can uh, build your skills. Uh. You can go back to school. You can be under the tutelage of somebody who's ahead of the game for you to learn and get to know much about uh, what's happening in the field. Number two, you must g gain it by uh, experience, uh, or working somewhere mm. or doing it uh, by your own way. It takes time. Uh. Mm. It's, uh, I'm, I'm usually appalled that you find uh, uh, someone has come out of school but is being told we need a three-year experience, four years experience, five-year experience. Uh. Mm. And these organizations know very well that these guys are out of school. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are the challenges that we have as a people. But uh, at the best of uh, at the key issue, let's have mentors, uh, people who can, uh, can cascade the no, no knowledge to us as youth uh, for us to take advantage of that. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah. And, 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 and we are talking about social capital. Yeah, social capital. To uh, build innovation. Innovation, sir. Now, somebody wants to use the social capital to build themselves. To build themselves. Sir. Is this the same yeah, yeah. as an individual who is saying, you know what? You must know somebody yeah. to connect you to get this job. <laughs> Is it synonymous? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's quite synonymous, but let me untangle it. Huh? Uh -huh. One, number one, you must know somebody. Yeah, you must uh, do. Uh, you must know somebody for you because uh, uh -huh. there are some people who are there before us. Huh? There are some people who are good at doing something. There are some people who we can take advantage of uh, uh -huh. to learn of uh, things that uh, we desire of. Huh? And uh, another thing. Huh? Uh, you find that uh, there are people who have uh, who have ideas, uh, who have, uh, have been in the in the market, who have been in the field, and that uh, they've done well. Uh. Mm. So we must be under them uh, uh, and uh, take advantage of what they've done, learn from them, and that uh, because at the end of the day, uh, you must know someone for you to get what you you want. Uh. You, you, you know, some people say outside there, yeah, ah, in this country, it's not a matter that you know somebody. <laughs> you have to be passionate yeah, and well, give it your best. Yeah, give so, it your so, best. So you're saying you cannot survive without me. No, 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 no. no. Oh. <laughs> Let me not uh, be misconstrued. Uh. Yes. What I mean, uh, uh. I, in, in as much, even if you are, uh, you are passionate, uh, mm. even if you are doing that, uh, you're working with a team of people, you're working un under, under a system, you are being connected with people, and mm. it's how I, will you tap this system uh, for your full potential? That's what I mean. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Let me not be misconstrued. It's uh -huh. not about uh, uh, you can uh, you can manage your your networks to your advantage. Uh, uh -huh. But what uh, what I mean here is that uh, yeah. how can you use the networks for your advantage? Uh? Uh -huh. Yeah. How can what how can, can you use what you've got? Yeah, to yeah. build something. Yeah, for to what build. you don't yet yeah, have. Uh, you don't yet have. Yeah. Good. Nice. Yeah. Good. 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 And our youths. Uh, and our youth must take advantage of that. Huh? Mm. Yeah, come together, concord, cobble up ideas, and see what the future old. Yeah. Old. What What is innovation? Uh, innovation is uh, coming up. Uh, innovation. There's what. There's a new concept that is called. Now you don't just innovate. Uh, you cause disruptive innovation. Huh? Mm. Like mm. to now, mm -hmm. uh, people yeah. want uh, efficiency. Yeah. People want things uh, that are cost effective, and people want value. Mm. Yeah. So what if you bring something that uh, because things are being disrupted every day. The media is being disrupted. Mm -hmm. Everything is being disrupted. Uh? Positive disruption. Positive disruption. Yeah. So you innovate, be in innovative uh, in a disruptive way. Uh, that mm. you, 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 you are. L l let me in this uh, context uh, quote someone in the U.S. America is a, 
uh, 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 he, he was an American uh, innovator and uh, visionary leader. Mm. He's called Back Minister Fuller. Mm. He said that you don't create change by fighting the status quo. Uh, you don't fight change by you, you don't create change by fighting the reality. For you to create change, do you know what you should do? What should you do? You create a model that obscures uh, the reality. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where that, that's where people <laughs> always go wrong. You go wrong. You, you you fight the status quo. You fight the status quo. Because you want to make change, and that's yeah. Going into, I want to yeah, 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 yeah. For, 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 for instance, uh, M-Pesa is doing well in the market. Huh? If I come up with a system that works the same way with M-Pesa, where will people come come to me? Okay, people will want something that maybe works better than M-Pesa, is cheaper than M-Pesa, is efficient than M-Pesa, that uh, will nudge M-Pesa out of the market, and that's what we call disruptive innovation. Mm -hmm. And what that's what we need at this point in time uh, to create the jobs that we need and to empower our youth. And, 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 and to connect it with what you've said, yeah, uh, you're saying instead of fighting, even yeah, people say that oh, you know, he has a good father, he has. <laughs> he, yeah. Instead of fighting, yeah, them, well, well, well. use them for your advantage. Ad advantage, yeah, or create a model that can uh, uh, put them out. Yeah, it mm. applies in politics, in everything, and everything else. Yeah, mm. the, in life, uh, you create a model that. Uh, uh, ob uh, uh, makes the uh, exist existing one obsolete, huh? and once you, you do it that way, the system is all yours. All right, now mm -hmm. let's decipher this thing. Yeah. Give us a few tips for the the youth who is watching it today. Yeah. How can the uh, 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 the Kenyan youth mm -hmm. use best youths uh, uh, his or her networks mm -hmm. to build themselves? Uh -huh. There's some of the few tips that you've got for us. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, like for, for my, myself as an entrepreneur, yeah. I've owned my skills over time. Number one, it takes time. Yeah. It takes time. It takes time. Number Embrace two is uh, identify your passion. Why are you passionate in, about? Huh? Then number three is uh, people. Yeah, the people is now the networks. Huh? Mm. Uh, have you heard of the dictum which says that get the right people in the bus, then decide what to do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get the right team in the file. You find that our youth uh, uh. Uh, mix with people who, 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 who they have disparate ambitions with. Uh? Uh. Yeah. You must find people you have the same ideas and you have the you 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 you, 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 you your skill set is in tandem and your vision is in tandem for so you to realize the the same goal. Is it get the right people in? In the bus, then mm. decide what you can do. That's the first thing. Uh, even as you build these networks, uh, mm. build it with the right people. Yeah. Don't just serve some yeah, 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 group yeah. of people who people. are just because you are yeah, 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 yeah. or because you come from the same yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. So people you can learn from, people you can uh, get ideas from and for mutual benefit. And you find uh, like uh, 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 our youth are usually, uh, it's a... Uh, they're not altruistic, eh? like uh, you must be selfless for greater good. Eh? You find people usually see eh, what am I benefiting first, eh? mm -hmm. but at the end of the day it should be mutual. What are we benefiting? Eh? So number one, from passion, you must identify what you can do better. What's, what are you passionate about? Eh? Mm -hmm. Because you cannot, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because in the long run you'll see, once you are not passionate, eh, you'll not, mm -hmm. you will not persevere when things are, uh, it a cul de sac, because in a, uh, uh, in the field where I am, entrepreneurship, uh, mm. it takes quite some time, and it's sometimes uh, very ex excruciating yeah, in yeah. terms of maybe resources, in terms of uh, maybe... Uh, then another thing, uh, let me s uh, add something. Uh, we must get the thinking of our, our youth right, uh, mm. because uh, our youth think that uh, I have an idea, mm. I make a plan, I get resources and I make profit. I become a billionaire tomorrow. It doesn't work like that. Huh? Mm -hmm. It doesn't work like that. These things take time. Mm -hmm. You must know how the market works. You must know the systems work. You must know how, 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 how if these things are connected. Huh? Now, 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 still, how, how can you build trust with yeah. social capital? Yeah, yeah. Nice. How can you do that? Yeah, thank you so much. Huh? Uh, it takes time. Yes. It takes time and uh, it, uh, it depends with interactions. It emanates from interaction mm -hmm. and also uh, the track record. Eh? Because 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 even even let's talk about time and uh, and and the track record. Yeah. Uh, um, there is this sense of um, trust that ought to be there. Yeah. So that 
you, um, uh, when you have an idea, yeah. it is picked up quickly. Nice. And 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 when you have some a, a challenge, mm -hmm. it is easily solved yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the social capital that social you've capital. got around. Social capital. Nice. You. Yeah. yeah. But 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 then how do you build that trust yeah, yeah. with the, with somebody who you really spend a lot of time with? Yeah. Remember there is the, the uh, issue of distance. Yeah. Distance. Yeah. Sir. And and time schedules. Yeah. Because time of course. They're your capital. Yeah. It means that they have a, they have a hand. Yeah, they have yeah. something that you don't yeah, have. Yeah, they have something that you don't have. Yeah. Huh? So how do you build trust? Yeah, nice. That's a good question. Huh? I've interacted with uh, Somalis, uh, mm. both in Kenya and in different uh, uh, Middle East and uh, elsewhere. And uh, I love how they operate. They operate on trust. Huh? Mm. You find like you find somebody. Uh, he doesn't have resources, but he has systems. Huh? So he talks with his kinsmen and people around in, in his social networks. They supply him and they see how they, they work. Huh? Mm. So number one, uh, our trust is, uh, is built by, uh, by uh, mutual goodwill. Huh? Number one, you have something that, that I need that if we combine, we can mutually benefit. Huh? Uh -huh. Number two, trust emanates from interaction. You cannot trust somebody if you don't, you've never interacted with them. Huh? Mm. And uh, how do you prove your track? track record huh? how trustworthy are you when you are you 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 you, you, you are confided with some information when mm -hmm. you are given something to take care of huh? mm -hmm. how are you are you good at at that huh? mm -hmm. that's number number mm -hmm. number one number two trust is built that's, that's number two. Oh, number two yes number sorry three. number three yeah. trust is built huh? by uh, it also emanates from uh, issues like uh, past experiences, huh? mm -hmm. uh, how you've uh, experienced, uh, how your past experiences with people and how you've dealt with them in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and there's something you've mentioned there, um, goodwill. Goodwill, yeah. Is it possible for you to avoid being taken advantage of in yeah. this whole process? Yeah, uh, yeah. And, that's and how can you do that? Because <laughs> this is a, yes, social capital, yeah, yeah. networking, and yeah. in, and in networking there are some dark sides. Dark sides, uh? Nice. Number one, uh, uh, for you to take advantage of that, not to be used, you must uh, identify your value. Hmm. What's your value? You must know your value. You must know your worth. Then you are and your bargaining power. What are you bringing on board? Uh? Yeah. What are you being on board? Uh? Yeah. And once, because once uh, people uh, know that you don't know your value, you don't, you've not packaged your, yourself well, they'll take advantage of you. Uh -huh. Yeah, so know your value, know your worth, and uh, see what are you bringing on board uh, that can add value. Because people will associate with you when they see the value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if they don't see what they can uh, uh, pick from you, then it's uh, null and void. They, there's no interaction. Uh? Mm -hmm. But once mm -hmm. there's value for mutual benefit, mm. That's it. They work with you. Because you, you know, sometimes we've because we've seen these cases. I I, I don't know if you've heard of them. Mm -hmm. But somebody has an idea, yeah. and this person shares his or her idea uh -huh. to somebody who is within their networks, uh -huh. only for them to later on uh -huh. see that particular idea being implemented somewhere else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Copyright infringement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 here we we have privacy that has been broken. Yeah, privacy. Yeah. Confidentiality has been broken. Yeah, yeah. Because you trusted in that particular network. Yeah, you, you trusted that. Mm. Yeah. So uh, that's a nice question. Uh, from uh, there's a legal re recourse to to to, to that. Huh? Before you start pitching your idea, uh, you must uh, there's a, it's called KIPI, Kenya Institute of. Uh, it deals with. Uh, Kenya Institute of what? It deals with uh, intelligence, mm -hmm. it deals with ideas, and deals with uh, inno innovative ideas, uh, mm -hmm. where you can register your ideas for as a protection, uh, as a mm -hmm. protection setter. Uh. Mm -hmm. So before you start pitching and, uh, and, and, and exposing your idea, you can uh, protect it legally. Yeah, ah. so that if anybody infringes and, uh, and exposes it uh, without your prior knowledge, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a criminal offense. Yeah, because you've shared this with your mentor. Yeah, mentor. You've shared this with the, somebody who you believed yeah. uh, could help you yeah, yeah. and could bring you it up. Bring you up. Huh? Only yeah, for yeah. them to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So before <laughs> you do that, huh, seek legal recourse. Yeah. Uh, register it with the government. Get it sealed. Sealed. Now mm. it belongs to you. So even as you walk around pitching it and looking for potential uh, investors, huh, mm -hmm. things will work with. Uh, 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 things will work well. Uh, in case of uh, 
he undermines your goodwill, mm. you can swim. Now, but, 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 now let, me, let me bring it to a level that is personal to personal. everybody. Yeah, na, 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 sir. Now, we are talking about building social capital. Yes, we are talking social. about building your networks yeah, to yeah. help you build up your innovation yeah, and resilience. Innovation, sir. Uh, but, but does it traverse character? Character. Is it, is, is it beyond yeah, personality? Yeah, 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 yeah. That person is an introvert. Introvert. That person is an extrovert. Nice, but, nice. But, but, but then we are talking about building, building social yeah, yeah, capital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it work the same for everybody? It doesn't work the same for everybody because people are different. Huh? But in the, uh, but people must stand to be counted. Huh? Uh, uh, the youth must be genial. Mm -hmm. The youth must be uh, exposed. Mm -hmm. The youth must stand up uh -huh. and uh, be counted. Huh? For for instance, uh, you can not just sit down and uh, say that you're waiting for something to happen. You mm -hmm. must go for it. Huh? You must seek these people. You must seek these men towards knock at their doors. Uh, have meetings with them and see how they can help you. So, the youth must come together. Yeah, mm. see where they are, uh, uh, see where wh where they converge, mm -hmm. see where they can uh, take advantage. And s uh, let me add something. You know, our youth have inimitable ideas. Uh? Our youth are so innovative, uh? but uh, we have challenges uh? from mm. financial challenges for and other factors. Uh? And these are massive youth financial exclusion in the country and for that matter we did a research mm. uh, we went to the market to interview the youth in marketplaces and uh, and uh, other areas other economic areas strewn within uh, nairobi and found that uh, most of them are ex excluded maybe because they don't have documentation maybe because they don't have other uh, 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 other documents that are needed by the financial for financial institutions. Huh? And therefore, so they cannot do what? Business. business. Uh, they, they cannot realize uh -huh. their goals. Huh? And okay. this is part of the, and banking system is part of the social capital, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that they need to realize their, their goals. Huh? Therefore, our government must do something. Huh? And we are coming up with a startup to see how we can fill that gap. Huh? And maybe I can uh, use this, this pl platform. Huh? Mm -hmm. We've done a research, we have a plan, and everything's okay. Are investors who, are, who can come on board to mm. see us realize the, uh, the, the goal of, of uh, having f a youth financial inclusion in Kenya to help the youth realize their goal, to help the youth. Because at the end of the day, finances are usually the, uh, the barrier mm -hmm. that youth must surmount for them to uh, see through their yeah, goals. I don't know if I got you right. You said you're going to help youths come up with uh, ways of establishing themselves themselves huh? yeah because in, in terms we, of their business yeah business so we are coming up with the financial startup huh? okay. uh, because we it panned out from uh, the financial because i also faced it huh? mm. finances are big uh, is a big issue and we've done research from that uh, the youth uh, our youth are financially excluded huh? from our mm. financial system. Huh? Exactly. And that's the main idea. Because here we have people who have loans. Loans. Default, huh? People have defaulted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, defaulted loans and things like that. Huh? And uh, leave aside the, the issue of defaulting. Huh? So there are some youth with their goodwill. They can repay their loans, but uh, they don't have this. Uh, they're, they're excluded because of other factors huh? mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. that are there. So we want to come in to help... Uh, uh, placate the issue and uh, realize the dreams of our youth. So, so, so um, somebody can reach out to you. Yeah, somebody and can. If, reach if they have an idea, and you can be able to help them out. Is that yeah, what, you're uh, uh, what I'm saying that we, uh, we 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 want to, we want investors who can invest in us uh, to mm. help the youth in real, uh, realizing or their investors to yeah, come on board because okay. we've done a research. We found this massive youth financial exclusion in our country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not of our. Of, of our wish, but mm. because of our systems and right. other things. Because you find in other countries, uh, there are venture capitalists, uh, mm -hmm. people who are there to finance these ideas, mm -hmm. people who are there to uh, work with the youth and uh, realize their dreams. But in this country, there's a, a deep lacuna. So you'd like to call upon investors to come to yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. How can they be able to reach out to you? Yeah, we c they can uh, reach me via email, mm -hmm. uh, ongalo14 at gmail.com. They can reach me via my phone number. I don't know it's okay if I expose it here. You, you, you do you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my phone you number is... is um, how did you want people to reach out to you? Uh, email, phone number. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, 7 I'll do it again. 7 
0752 One more time. 0708 mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a plan, we have a research, and we want to come and cause disruption in the market and embolden our youth uh, and invigorate our youth for financially to yeah. help them uh, realize their dreams. Because of, uh, finances is the panacea that our youth need uh, mm -hmm. for them to upscale. Uh, now, um, let's talk, do you think the government also plays a role? And, yeah. and, and how does the government come in when it comes to building social networks yeah. and social capital? Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, how are youths taking advantage of okay. this? Of course, those are three questions. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, three questions. Huh? Mm. Let me start from uh, from this point. Uh, good leadership emanate from uh, politics. Huh? Because everything, everything, everything uh, in life, economics and everything is, um, uh, is canvassed in parliament. Huh? And uh, uh, yeah, this also is a part of the electoral process. Huh? Mm -hmm. And it's so unfortunate, uh, Ram, it's so unfortunate and um, usually uh, so sad that our youth uh, sit out electoral process. They don't take part in, uh, in election. Mm -hmm. uh, you find they have a lackadaisical attitude towards the politics. They say, uh, that's not my thing. Huh? Maybe because they are impervious of, uh, of, of the consequences of, of, of electoral process. Because it's, it's out of the good le leadership uh, that we're given an environment that can help us uh, build these so social networks. Uh. Uh -huh. So I urge our youth, uh, let's take part in the election. Uh. Because if, if you don't take back part in the election, yeah. it's going to affect you. Affect you, whether run. you take part you or not. Uh, yeah, to build because whether you take part or not, uh, you are affected. When there's a hike in the price of maize flour, it doesn't matter whether you voted or not. All of us are affected. Eh? Okay? Mm. Yeah, everything is from politics. So it's eh? just better that better. you just vote. Yeah, so not better. Let mm. us uh, stand. I urge our youth, let us stand. Mm. Let us take position. Let us be eloquent. Let us be elaborate. But after mindfully thinking of, uh, of the option that we have, uh, mm. let us weigh the options and stand up for something. Yeah, yeah, stand up for, for it doesn't matter with which which side of the spectrum you, you have, but uh, stand up for something. Stand up for something. Yeah, because at the end of the day, these are issues that uh, affect our life to the core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Or when you go to uh, is the government that can make these uh, finances available for the youth? Mm -hmm. Is the government that can make uh, a platform for the youth to uh, elaborate the issues and to, to grow and to uh, increase their skill set? Uh? So it emanates from politics. Number two, uh, our youth, some of, um, I can say most of our youth are not exposed to uh, some of the things the government are doing uh, and the opportunities that are there that can help them to build their social networks, uh, to uh, make them innovators, and to uh, help them come up with something substantial that can, they can, help, uh, can help them uh, uh, do something for the economy. Because at the end of the day, uh, what can you do for your government? Uh, uh, because there are some avenues that you can tap into to help us, uh, help us uh, realize our goals. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we 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 we, uh, we 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 need to use our internet well. Uh, check the opportunities that the government uh, has put in front. Well, because these opportunities are there. The are there? Has yeah, side yeah, there are, uh, yeah. There are NGOs, there are private sectors, and people who have uh, set up ideas uh, that yeah. can. Uh, that can do that. Huh? Another thing that I'm, I want to uh, uh, address, huh? you find that uh, the, uh, in other jurisdictions, uh, like in Silicon Valley, they have uh, venture capitalists, huh? people who uh, pump their resources to in, in people of ideas, huh? which might be lacking in our countries. Huh? Mm. And therefore, I urge uh, people of goodwill, people with financial wherewithal, mm. people with financial wherewithal, and to come up and uh, help our youth. Because I've interacted with our youth, uh. our youth have uh, ideas that can cause disruption and can help the government in adding, adding value to the economy and creating employment. A middle time is, is not on our side. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I, want, I want to give you time to have um, a final word. Yeah. And um, I would like to, you to give your parting shot. Yeah. Speak to that Kenyan youth watching yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is your camera there. Um, what is your final word? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my final word to the youth, uh, because I've uh, owned my uh, skill set, I've owned my entrepreneur, entrepreneurial uh, watches uh, over time, and I've learned that uh, social capital is a huge thing. 
uh, because it helps us to uh, build on what we have. It helps us to tap on our uh, skills and our ideas for, for greater good. Eh? And another big thing I want to urge our youth that uh, let us build teams that we have uh, um, mutual goodwill with, people who have uh, uh, the right set skill, people who have, uh, we, are, we are in tandem in terms of uh, in terms of uh, vision and mission. And another big issue is uh, everything emanates from good politics and good governance. Huh? And let us not sit down in the electoral process. Let us take part and uh, stand for something and be counted. Uh, and the future belongs to us. Uh, let us be disruptive, d disruptive innovators. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you so much, and position sir. ourselves for the future. Uh, yeah. That is Samuel Wum, a financial expert, and of course, an entrepreneur. Thank you so much. Samuel. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Of course, Asante. Yeah. The As youth need to stand up. To stand up. Uh, yeah. Asante, Asante. Of course, yeah. this is all about social capital. Uh, uh, how best you can use social capital to build uh, um, your uh, innovation and uh, resilience. And uh, this has been Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. We are taking a short break before and in a, we come back. Of course, we are taking a, sh a mus musical break. Uh, we'll be back in a bit. Keep it Why in the Morning. The hashtag as always is uh, that. Why in the Morning at Ram Maguko and at Y254 channel. We'll be back in a bit. This is Y254. Thank you so much. Thank you.